My plan had originally been to enlist in the Army and then use that to pay for college. Once I found out about Questbridge and the, the generous financial aid that colleges like Yale have, that sort of changed my plans. I found out about Questbridge actually through a pamphlet in my guidance counselor's office. I found out about Questbridge through my AP English language teacher. I found out about Questbridge through my older brother. We both knew that if we were going to go to college out of state, we were going to have to find scholarships or grants to do that. I was invited to the Questbridge conference here at Yale. We had a mini college fair where I really got to meet a lot of different colleges, including Yale. When you hear, you know, you're going to get into college for free, you're going to get you know, over $300,000 worth of scholarships, doesn't seem plausible. I was like, hmm, like, is this real? Is this legit? I just went ahead and applied because it was free. I decided I would do the national college match because it just seemed like a really good way for me to showcase who I am. I focused on Questbridge because the profile of students that they described was exactly who I was. My test scores, my EFC, my background, it felt like the perfect fit for me. I really found that it was nice to just have it established through applying through QuestBridge that I was first generation low income. I didn't have to talk about that. All I had to do was talk about myself and tell my story. I wasn't trying to fit into a mold of different activities or things that weren't even accessible at my high school. It allowed me to present my story and who I am more than just you know what I've done academically. Knowing that if I matched, I would have a full financial aid package was like, oh, this is really within my reach. Like, they want people like me. That's why they're offering this. Now, me as an admissions officer on the other side of the application, it really helps us to read and understand that story, to get a fuller context of who this applicant is and how they might fit in on our campus. When my community and my family found out that I had matched, they freaked out. I didn't expect to get in. It was just a big celebration moment. It was preparing for a future that I never thought that I was going to be able to have. The day I was accepted to Yale, I was like, wait, no way, this is a prank. And then I was like, wait, no, it's not. I'm running through my house and I'm like, mom, mom, look, you know, look. But wait a minute, because I need to check to financial aid, because if I don't have good aid, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to go. And I was like, they're literally like, going to pay for everything. I had actually never flown by myself and I was really nervous to get on a plane with basically everything I own and go to college. You kind of feel like, okay, I'm going to be the only one who's the first person to go to college in their family, the only one from this small town, you know, the only one from, from this background. But when you get here, you see that there's thousands of other people with the same, same experience, you know. The Quest Scholars Network at Yale has truly become my family. I kind of get emotional just talking about the people that I've met through QuestBridge on campus. I would say the first generation college student community at Yale is very vibrant and diverse. Just knowing that everyone has gone through similar things as me is comforting. It is a shared identity that you know, hundreds of students come to campus having and the Quest Scholars Network is a place for them to share in that, to come together as a community and sort of build a little home within Yale. It's been very valuable in terms of finding a community where I felt at home and not out of place. I think my own preconceived notions were absolutely inaccurate about Yale. I felt like I really found a place that I fit in at, um, a sort of home away from home. I've never felt, you know, like I didn't belong here. Sometimes the imposter syndrome really hits me, but then I'm like, I, I got here too, like in my own way. It, it was a different route, but I got here and I deserve to be here. It's going to be hard because you're doing this by yourself, but these schools want you. You deserve to be at Yale. You can do it and you have to be your own cheerleader. Um, it, it is hard, but it's worth it because Yale is the best thing that's ever happened to me.